Okay. Okay. And now, Bill Bancroft, it's, it's time for our next, hold it down, gang, time for our next ludicrous guest on the hot seat. Well, your next victim here has the uh, strange illusion that General Noriega was framed, that he's totally innocent, that we've given him a bum rap all the way around, even to begin with, that we, in fact, owe him an apology? I can't believe it, but that's what he believes. So before the show, I walked backstage and I said, how do you want me to introduce you? And he says, I want you to say, Larry, the Professor Rice. Oh, I said, come on. I said, Larry, why are you the professor? He said, because I know my subject matter so well, so well, that I, in fact, you think that you can go down in, into, into Panama and raid a country, kill millions of people, just because you have a grudge against somebody in Panama. Hey, I don't know what this makes is you think that you can talk now. This is my part of the show. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. You haven't even we've already, yet. We've already uh, gotten to the up. We've already gotten to the important part of the show, and that's me. Oh. No, that's me. Oh. We're going to introduce you, Larry. Relax. So I w he, he says he wants to be the professor because he is tutoring you oh, on sure. international yeah. politics. So I can't stand that. I'm going to introduce him the way he w really is. This is Larry Pervert Wright. Yeah. Oh, real. Oh, this guy's real clever here. Real clever, huh? Thanks a lot, Bill. What a jerk. Who is this guy, anyway? Will you shut up? What, what even qualifies him to be here? Just, what is it? Do you have a, no, just, you have a little yeah. string behind him? Are you like a little hey, ventriloquist? What, hey, what qualifies you to be here, you stupid pervert? Because... You have the audacity to come down to wiggle your way onto this stage, and we know how you learned your wiggle, don't we? Yeah! Yeah, you seem to be in, very, uh, in favor of that wiggle. You kind of like that wiggle, don't you, Waldo? Just, just shut up, Baldy. Oh. How many American boys, he, so how many jealous. American wait, boys wait were killed wait. down in Panama when that idiot and that dictator, George, you guys shut up. Well, I'm Well, do you want to talk about the issues or what? You just keep changing the you, subject. You go on the air, you, you little uh, pervert. You know, he's so damn jealous, he has not have my hair. That's why. Now, you're here. I can't believe it. You come on here on my radio show, and now you're saying it again. You say Noriega is innocent and should be set free. Oh. Say that. What, what you and these idiots here don't seem to understand. Shut up! Don't tell them to shut up. Don't tell my audience to shut up. You, what you and these idiots out here don't seem to understand that is everybody in the United States of America is entitled to be judged innocent until proven guilty. But you're now you you just wait a minute. Now you just wait a minute. If you, if, if you have already made up your mind, if you have already made up your mind that he is guilty, then you are violating what the Constitution of this country guarantees hey. to everybody. Hey, hey, stupid. So how can you... You can't sit there and say he's guilty. Hey. You don't know that he's guilty. Let me tell you something. Hey, let me tell you something, garbage breath. I can smell it all the way over here. Let, let me tell you something. You say you know, that and we... I didn't like that crack about pervert either, buddy. I don't care. You're a pervert. You are. I don't... 
I don't think we should get into personalities here. Will you stop talking? Hey, we stop talking about who I am. And let's talk about the issue. Wait, wait. Let me give you. Hey, let me give you a few more descriptive words about you, Larry. <laughs> Write these down. You are a punk, a pervert, a rodent, a dog, and an idiot. I'll be right back. We're back. Paula George here with Hot Seat. We'll get back to our ludicrous guest in a moment. But first, I want to remind you people in Southern California, every Monday night, join me on the radio on KLAC 570 on the AM dial. You can call me on the phone, talk back to me on the air for three hours. Our fourth year on KLAC, the home of country classics, the Lakers, the Kings, and the Wally George Great American Radio Show. Monday night, seven to t every Monday night, 7 to 10 p.m. for three hours. We talk to you on the phone, call me, and get involved involved on KLAC 570 on the AM dial Monday nights from 7 to 10. Okay, terrific. Now, you know, Larry, I can't understand it. You say that we not only should set Noriega free, but we owe him a public apology. Oh, no. No, why in the hell do you say that? No. How, can, how can you justify going into a sovereign country, a sovereign country over which we have no law, breaking in illegally without a search warrant, without, without any kind of authorization, dragging somebody out of that country with no extradition through a judicial process? That, that my, my friend, requires uh, an act of, of uh, war. Now, wait a minute. 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 What I think we need to do about this no, oh, wait, first. is, is wait, I have wait, something wait, to say. Wait, wait. You never let me talk. Wait, wait, before you do that. You don't let me talk on this show. I'm going to answer you, big man. Wait a minute. I'll tell you why we went in there, you stupid idiot. Noriega was dealing in drugs with, with the Colombian. But you don't know that. No, we do know it. Everybody, you don't know that. Don't we know it. He was drug dealing. He was laundering. He was laundering he drug wasn't, money. He wasn't given due process of law. We need to apologize for that. Oh. Apologize. We violated our own judicial system. We owe that man an apology. And, and I'll tell you. Oh, wait a minute, Larry. You're wrong. That I want to say. judicial system is this country. Yes. That well, doesn't apply that to that us when we're well, That's right. And we don't have any else. law. We don't have any law that allows us to go down into some country over which we have no oh, control. Oh, yeah, we do. I want to say something. I want you to know I'm sending a copy of this videotape to, to, to Manuel Noriega's lawyers. I'm going. And I am going to. I am going to apologize. For the American people, I want to tell you, sir, wait, 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 wait. that what are you, you have to understand that that we're out of control. There are people who are going who to are take care of you. To? Manuel Noriega is going to get a copy of this take, and I've got to say something. This, amigo, He's amigo, to hey, mi amigo, mi amigo, la lucha no está fini, okay? I'm the amigo. Ah. Hey, I got something to say to you too, Noriega. You're a jerk. People, they weep. You're a drug dealer. That's what I've got to say, and I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why. It's because you you don't want to give somebody a fair trial. Hold on, Larry, hold, then, Larry, hold on. Well, you can't even... wait, wait a minute, Larry. You just gave a message to Manuel Noriega, right? And the entire... Sending... All right. He's sending this videotape of the show to Manuel Noriega. So I think I should send my message. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gia, get, uh, okay, give me a little, a little close up here. Okay, not too close. <laughs> hey, Manuel, are you watching, amigo? Let me tell you something. Hey, pineapple face. That's not right. That's not right. Let me tell you something, pineapple face. You, you, you think you, you, you got it bad now in that jail cell? Well, I have news for you, you rodent dog. That's not, hey, Manuel. That's not, that's not fair. Manuel. How can you? You are going to fry. Yeah. Now, what do you think about that? What, what 
I think it's sickening and disgrading, de degrading on your part. You have disgraced yourself by attacking somebody personally with with no provocation. Don't at all. you care about Daniel the drug? Daniel Noriega has done nothing to you. How many American boys went down there and died just because George Bush was afraid that Manny was going to spill the beans about what George Bush was skimming off the top of the drug, was skimming many, off the top of the drug minute, trade in the 60s and 70s I'm and the 80s? You, how many people died because they overdosed on drugs? That's that not Noriega helped to smuggle into this country. And, and that's, a, that's another thing. That's another thing. The problem, the problem is not in Panama. The problem is in this country because this country has created the drug problem. If we didn't have the demand, he wouldn't have the supply. It's not his problem. It's oh. our problem. If we didn't. And you better stop pointing your finger hey. at the other hey. way. Oh. Oh. I have news for you, Larry. Hey, Larry, that's absolutely right. Ron, you said that we caused it. Do people who eat eggs create chickens? That's stupid. What, yeah. what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is if anybody is stupid enough to take the kind of drugs that are important. Were we correct in invading Panama and liberating that great country? Yeah. But yeah. now I say it's time. Let's go into Colombia. Yeah. And why? And why would you do? Why would you go into Colombia? What earthly reason would you have to go into Colombia? We Columbia? want to nail those drug lords and throw them in the slammer. Yeah. yeah. At the very time when the Russians are releasing their iron-fisted grip on Eastern Europe, the Berlin Wall is coming down. You want to become the very thing that the Russians, you've been calling the Russians for years. I had news for you, Larry. For you, Larry. Hold on. Speaking of walls, the wall just came down on you. You're out of here. Yeah.